Hello there, my name is Fernando and I'm a developer advocate here at GitLab and today I'm going to go over a newly introduced feature within the GitLab 17.2 release. Today I'll cover vulnerability explanation in chat, which allows you to open GitLab dual chat and write a prompt which will go ahead and explain the vulnerability providing detailed descriptions on how it affects your system information on how to exploit it, as well as a path forward towards remediation. Now let's get started. Vulnerability explanation is now part of GitLab dual chat and is generally available. By having vulnerability explanation integrated into the chat, it makes it easier for a native chat experience with GitLab Duo's AI features. You can now open the chat from any SAS vulnerabilities to better understand the vulnerability, see how it can be exploited, and review a potential fix. Within my project, I'll navigate to the Secure tab and click on Vulnerability Report. The Vulnerability Report provides an oversight of all the vulnerabilities detected within my default branch. I'll then sort by tool and select the SAS scanners, which are the vulnerability scanner types that support vulnerability explanation. Then I can go ahead and select the vulnerability where I'm taken to the vulnerability page, which provides insights about the vulnerability, such as a detailed description, its severity, location, identifiers, and additional training. From here, you can also manage the vulnerability with comments and statuses. At the top, we can see a button that says Resolve with Merge Request. We can select a drop down arrow to change to Explain Vulnerability. Then, when pressing the Explain Vulnerability button, GitLab Chat will pop out and automatically generate a vulnerability explanation. We can see that a description is provided based off the language of the application. We also see information on exploiting the vulnerability, which includes why it is vulnerable as well as how it can be exploited using a SQL query. In this case, since it's a SQL injection, we see that passing 1 equals 1 can effectively bypass the intended authentication logic. This information can save an AppSec engineer time by allowing them critical information on exploitation to validate if the vulnerability does in fact affect the system. We are also provided with information on how to resolve the vulnerability within the language of the application itself, making it easy for AppSec engineers to push code and then determine if the vulnerability was resolved. Using the vulnerability explanation along with the vulnerability insights allow for a quicker time to resolution. Also, from GitLab dual chat, you can just type in slash vulnerability underscore explain from the vulnerability report of a SAS vulnerability to obtain the explanation. Note that results from GitLab dual AI features may vary. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. To learn more about the GitLab 17.2 release, as well as the feature we went over in this video, see the links in the description. And make sure to click that like and subscribe button 